Hi, babe. It is time to sculpt and tone that beautiful bum of yours. You don't need any equipment at all. 10 minutes, just follow along. We're gonna have a ton of fun and you're definitely gonna feel the burn. Let's go. Now let's begin on all fours here. So shoulders are over wrists, hips are over knees. Make sure you like and subscribe my channel if you wanna see more videos like this. Okay, we're gonna cross behind, reach up, tap to the side, reach up. Cross behind, reach, tap to the side and up. The biggest thing here I want you to focus on is your core. I know, we're working the legs, but I really want you to focus on your core. Try to keep the ribs and lower belly in. That'll help keep the upper body stable. Good, keep going. Up, good, side, up, cross, up, side, up, good. So you wanna also keep your arms really strong. So you wanna feel your biceps turned on. You wanna feel your fingers pressing into the ground. Nice, keep going. Up, cross, up, tap side, up, cross, I love these moves because they really help sculpt and tone your beautiful booty and you're gonna feel the burn pretty quickly. Okay, now let's move on to our next exercise. Pull it in and you're going to reach all the way up to a three-legged dog and then tap slightly back down. So you don't wanna put too much weight on that knee but you just do a nice little tap there with your knee and then extend all the way up to the top. You wanna make sure that you are actually engaging your glute when you extend out to the top. Nice, tap and reach, tap and reach. Keep that core moving all the way through. Lower belly is pulled in, ribs are pulled in, and arms are straight and strong. Good, let's move into our next exercise. So three parts here, you're gonna cross underneath, out to the side, back to the diagonal, out to the side, and in. Reach, reach, reach and in. So you notice I have a little bit of a curve in my back. I make space for the knee. Reach, diagonal, reach and in. Good, three, two, one. There we go, just like that, keep it up. Okay, let's move into our next exercise. Coming onto the side as if you're in a side plank, pull the knee into the elbow, reach long, good. So point the toe, make sure that the toe stays about at the height of your hip, pulling in and out, good. Now again, let's focus on that core. Those obliques are definitely gonna be working here, so pull the belly in towards your spine and keep your right arm straight and strong. So pushing out of the floor, using your shoulder, using your biceps, not sinking in the shoulder at all, but really keeping the upper body still. Good, now keep that posture. Now we're gonna tap, lift, tap, lift. Now this is where you really start to feel it. There it is. Nice, top elbow is also open. So notice how I'm nice and wide across the chest. Make sure you're not starting to slouch in the upper body. Your whole body is working in these so that we can recruit as many muscles as possible. All right, let's move into the next exercise. You're gonna lay the knee and shin down, extend a little bit behind you, and then tap back down. Reach and down. So you can see how my foot's a little bit behind me. I'm engaging my quad to actually straighten the leg, point your toes, and stay firm on that right elbow. So again, you're pushing out of the floor, using your shoulder muscles, pulling your abs in, drawing the ribs down and in. So it really is full body. Even though we are focusing on the legs, the entire body works. And that's why you're going to walk out of this workout feeling tall, feeling proud, feeling confident, and feeling probably a burn too. Okay, and now it's time to move on to the other side. We're going to do all those exact same exercises on your other leg. And let's begin. Extend, tap, reach, and cross. Reach, tap, reach, and cross. Have a nice steady flow. 
being intentional with your movements, knowing exactly where your foot is going. So you know that you're pointing totally back behind you and then you're pointing to the side. Good, and then you're crossing behind, being really intentional, focusing on your whole body. So focusing on your shoulders, making sure that they don't wiggle around too much. Hold on to your core, you're doing awesome. I know some of these exercises might be completely new to you, but just give this video a couple of tries and then you'll start to feel it become more easy easy for your body keep going you're doing awesome all right let's move into our downward dog extension here so remember you're going to tap and reach tap and reach beautiful work remember you're just barely tapping the floor make sure that you don't bang your knees down into the floor keep your hands solid use your arms and your shoulders and your core and breathe as you do these exercises the breath will help power you up you're doing so good remember to point your toe for that nice long extension okay beautiful let's move into our next exercise exercise coming into our side plank position here hand comes behind the head pull knee to the elbow and actually aim for having the knee and elbow touch together you're gonna feel that extra crunch in those abs keep your arm straight and strong to support the posture here lower belly squeezes in and pull the knee in extend out try to keep the foot at the height of the hip beautiful i know there is a burn but just know that you are so incredibly strong and you can do this good pulling it in and reach nice let's tap down to the floor and lift keeping the foot flexed leading with the heel so leading the heel up and down you're going to feel the burn for sure and that is your muscles getting stronger with each and every rep just know that that's your body telling you that yep we're working here and we're making progress okay now let's move into our next exercise laying all the way down to the side and extend tap down extend tap down so you are going to be on the shin and knee of that leg so make sure that you place that whole shin and knee down to the floor extend down and extend beautiful keep it up Okay, now it is time for our finisher. We've done both sides and we're gonna lay on our backs for single leg bridges. So go ahead and bring your feet closer together. Reach one leg up, press through the opposite heel and pulse it up, 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 up. So make sure you're pressing through the heel so that you can engage your glute and hamstring. Nice, keep lifting up and let's switch sides. Lift up. Up. This is one of my most favorite exercises because it really gets those glutes like you want to and you're gonna see the results that you want from this video. Okay, and let that go. You made it to your cool down. Great, great work. Let's go ahead and come into a nice little butterfly stretch here and fold forward. Oh, that feels so good, doesn't it? Okay, make sure that you like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check in with me on Instagram at the Stretchy Fit app and hashtag Stretchy Babe.
Great, great job. I'm so proud of you for showing up on your mat today. Remember, you can include this workout as part of your regular routine, or you can join the rest of us stretchy babes by following a 30-day calendar inside of my Stretchy Fit app. Join my app for free today. I left the link below in the description box so that you can check that out. And then as always, make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe and support my channel, and leave comments below. Let me know what was your favorite move of this workout, and I will see you in the next video. Love you so much. Bye.